Thanks for tuning in to our short video on the small and medium sized business recovery grant program. Today, we will go over our program eligibility criteria and how our required documents checklist will help us in verifying your eligibility. The first set of criteria are centered around your business and its operations. Those criteria are the majority share of the business is owned by one or more BC residents. The business has been operating in BC for at least 18 months as of the date of your application. And the business's sole or primary operations are located and conducted in BC. That is, the business is registered in BC, the business is current and pays taxes in BC, and the business is currently operating. Please note, businesses that are seasonal or temporarily closed are also eligible. For this set of criteria, and in particular for unincorporated businesses, we ask that you provide your notices of assessment and the first section of your T1 income tax return, form 5010-R, and your T1 slash T2125 statement of business or professional activities. And for incorporated businesses, we ask that you provide your shareholder register, central securities register, or your T2 Schedule 50 to help us determine your ownership. Also, we ask that you provide your business's notices of assessment and the first section of your T2 business income tax return. The next set of criteria focuses on the financial impact of COVID-19 on your business. Those criteria are the business had positive cash flow for the last financial statement prior to February 1st, 2020. And the business had at least 30% revenue loss from March 2020 to present when compared to the same one month period in 2019. For this set of criteria, and again, for unincorporated businesses, we ask that you provide your T1, T2125 statement of business or professional activities for the current year and two preceding years. And we also ask that you provide a summary of the past 24 months of actual monthly revenue that presents each month separately. For those businesses that have been operating for less than 24 months, we request a minimum of 18 months. For incorporated businesses, we ask that you provide your financial statements for the current and preceding two years, including your balance sheet, income statement, and if available, your statement of cash flows. We also ask that you provide a summary of the past 24 months of actual monthly revenue that presents each month separately. And again, for those businesses that have been operating for less than 24 months, we do require a minimum of 18 months. The final criteria, applicable only to those businesses that have staff, seeks to identify the impact of COVID-19 on those that your business employs. In particular, those businesses that employ up to 149 people in BC for at least four months of the calendar year. For this criteria, and applicable to both unincorporated and incorporated businesses, we ask that you provide your payroll documents from September 1st, 2019 to present, which can include your T4 statement of remuneration paid, or your PD7A payroll filing documents, or your payroll or check runs. We ask for this information to help demonstrate the number of BC residents employed or subcontracted by your business and where those staff resided. Please be sure not to send any personally identifiable information for your staff that you are not otherwise authorized to share. That concludes our program eligibility criteria and our required documents checklist.